Hi, in this video we'll show you how to use Globus web page to make a file transfer between the cluster and your local computer or between two clusters. First of all we need to connect to the Globus page which is app.globus.org and we need to log in using our system credentials so there are many systems and we have credentials for university of missouri system you press continue yeah it would usually ask you for your credentials but i already did that so it just worked so this is the globus web page here is the file manager the most important and you can choose the view with two panels because now you can list contents of two computers and then use it as a target and or the source or the other way around by pressing start you will initiate copying but first we need to find the computers that we want to use so for example we can search for collection foundry and it will find foundry home directories which is our foundry cluster my user home directories and they will show up here just to be sure that's it I will open my mobile extern so I'm doing doing this presentation for specifically Windows computer but it should be pretty similar even if you have Mac or Linux system because the web page part is the same only running the local application will be different okay let's just go to foundry to see if indeed these are the directories and after some time we should get in yeah okay so these are the files and now we need some other destination here which unfortunately today neither uh, Forge or the Lewis clusters uh, have some issues with the Globus connection. So what we will have here will be our local computer, my laptop, and I will also show you the third computer being able to use here. So in order to get our local computer here, you will need to click on endpoint and create a personal endpoint which will lead you to download an application in my case for windows but if we check here there are applications for both mac and linux and i guess the logic should be the same we'll show it here for windows so if you click it here it will download then we will just initiate it it will start installing and it will run Globus Connect Personal so that in. so this is my default laptop name I will leave it like that more important is collection name under which you will be able to find it from the web page so put something sensible here like work now, I don't have sensitive data, so I'll not click this. This save will take like 20 seconds. And then this Globus connection application will be running every time you start your Windows system. And it should be visible here. It will show up when the saving finishes. It will be like letter G. And after it is running, and whenever it is running, your laptop should be visible from the web page of Globus or your desktop. So we'll, we'll try to find our laptop here once it saves the options. Okay, it did save the options, so it appeared here. Exit setup. So we have it here, and if I right click the mouse, I will have options which we will need in a second. So now we should be able to find our laptop. And indeed, it finds what we just installed. And I think green means it's online. So if I click here, 
it will show me the contents of my laptop but the trick is it will show you here only your documents folder by default i think so if you go up you see it's like a c drive but when you click it will lead you only to your documents directory so this is only my documents if i want to share something else you need to go here right click and choose options and you see it's only this directory that is shared and you can add more by pressing plus and then choose the directory you want to share so i already prepared on my c drive so you can use d drive or whatever i made a directory called cluster exchange and i will choose that directory and it will be added here i don't know what this means shareable but it's definitely writable so i will save that and now if you go all the way up now you see also cluster exchange uh, let's say that we want to copy this whole directory to the cluster and let's say that we want to copy it into this directory first tests so if we go into first tests i have four directories here and we can double check it indeed it's only four directories and how do you initiate the transfer so you select directory here you can select more than one directory by just left click if I click the second time it gets deselected so you can select more more items here so we selected only cluster exchange here we are positioned in this directory nothing is selected here so if we press start here that will submit like a request for the copying so it doesn't have to start right away it like submitting a request and it will get executed at some point if you check activity you should be able to see that took place here and also you will get a notification email that your requested transfer has been done notice that here doesn't uh, auto refresh so we need to press this button to see refresh and indeed this directory copied with the contents inside we can check it on a cluster and we see that indeed that directory just appeared to copy the other way around we can position ourselves here in cluster exchange and then let's say i can take from the cluster i'll try to find something that is not big okay let's say i want this directory or even two directories to to get copied on my local computer so i select them here by left clicking and i press so i, I choose where, where it will go here so i'm in cluster exchange directory i selected those two and you press start and transfer request submit successfully so this transfer will take place at some point of course you see activity here so yeah this transfer has started and of course your laptop has to be connected to network and running so it is accessible for this copying if you are copying from one cluster to the other of course then you don't have to worry if they are up after you submit the request you can close your web page and shut down your laptop this will take place at some point so i think i've chosen a bit larger directory so this will take some time but in the meantime uh we can search for another computer here that i know is up this is this lasik dell which is my personal laptop on which i also installed this uh, this globus application and whenever my laptop is running it's also running this globus application so it is showing up here on this web interface 
So it's very convenient if you install this Globus application on your desktop that is always up. And then when you are traveling, you can access it from this web user interface and do the transfer for the cluster from the clusters. So whenever the laptop is up, it will be available here as the collect under this collection name. So as I said, this is my other laptop. And there I obviously didn't add any other points except uh, the documents. But in this way, I can also I can also access that other computer on which I have installed the endpoint and if that computer is up and running on the network. Exactly in the same way, we could initiate the copy to the other clusters. But as I said, today Forge has some trouble in accessing the Globus. But logic would be perfectly the same. You would get your home directories here, and then you can choose what you copy from the Forge to the Foundry. Click Start here, or the other way around. Deselect this. Okay, so this copying is taking a while. Obviously, I have taken very large directories, but they should be coming to my Windows system from the cluster. Okay, so you see that these two directories appeared, and they are copied right now. Since this is a local copy, I have to leave my laptop opened until this finishes. I don't know what would happen if I... If I shut down my laptop now and turn it on again later if this would just continue probably it, it will but yeah this is in a nutshell how you do file transfer between two different systems that are on a on a globus that are connected to the globus system yeah that would be all thank you